I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you have a set of tiles at home and you want to practice decision making, this is a great way to do it. You've got to be able to compartmentalize your decision making. If you're able to do that, there's much that can be learned in a game of solitaire. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 14 tiles. Players 2, 3, and 4 will get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hand, see where the strengths lie, and pick a category to play. And then we'll go into the Charleston. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. Joker, pair of flowers, one, three, four in cracks, one, four, seven in bams, two, three, six, seven, eight in dots. This is the only multiple. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would focus on one through four consecutive run. These are going to make up some risky passing though. So I think I would let the one go. Pass those three, focus on little numbers. Let's see what we can do for player two, also known as South. Jokers, West, pair South, six dot, four, eight, nine in cracks, three, four, five, eight, bam. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would focus on wins. We have a pair of South. Because South can use odds, I would keep odds and pass all those. Focus on wins. So let's pass one of each suit. Let's see what we can do for player three, also known as West. Joker, Dragon, West and South. Seven, eight, nine in dots. Pung of six bams and a pair of eights and then there's a six crack. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? I would build around the multiples. Six, seven, eight, dragon. Maybe that could fill the gap. There is a slight potential for like numbers with sixes and dragons, but we have no flowers and no red dragon. I think I would probably pass West seven, nine. It's a little risky passing seven, nine in one suit. We could maybe make that better by letting this go. Maybe pass six West nine. That would leave us with a seven, eight.
think maybe seven nine is a little little better than seven eight just in case we get everything we want this might be a better way to leave off let's do an south with evens west with odds there are hands in the wind and dragon category that places west with evens and south with odds so let's break them up let's see what we can do for player four also known as north Flower, east, west, one, three, four, six, eight, and dots with a pair of fours, two, three, nine, in cracks, and a nine, ma'am. So if these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on the fours and maybe play two, four, six, eight, or two, three, four, five. We could maybe do one, two, three, four, but I don't like passing wins together if I don't have to. So I would break these up and let the one go. Focus on two, four, six, eight, or two, three, four. We're ready to do the Charleston. So east to south, south to west, west to north, north to east. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're just gonna hold it all and we'll pass seven, nine east. So we were maybe keeping odds for north and south with odds. We do have tiles we can pass, two, four, six, eight, but one of each suit. We could maybe make that a little better by passing an odd tile in there and keep these. Oh, two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. We're missing a two. There are a couple hands we could focus on here. Third hand down under evens or second from the bottom with dragons. We need twos. Let's pass those three. You know, we could do something like that too. Six, eight, west, those are evens, but if we maybe put an odd in there, either way we slice this, it's going to have risk. So we're looking at either two, four, six, eight, or two, three, four. We did get an eight. Three, four, six, eight, really two, four, six, eight. I would keep this two just to see what comes in. Keep everything in that category to see if we can find a hand. We could play category level and just gather. Oh, here's a six. Let's keep that six. And then we can pass west three nine. Okay, next pass. We're going across east and west, north and south. We were looking for little numbers. We got seven, eight, eight. I would just pass on those. Oh, we got a west. We did get that nine. Oh, look, threes. We have a pair of west in there. Threes though, north and south with threes. That would be the third hand down. Let's just see what happens. We could maybe pass those three. 
four, six, eight. Here's a nine, six, eight, nine. There is a quint, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe kind of a long shot. Look at these tiles here though. That's kind of risky. If we pass that, three, six, nine, we pass that, big odds. If we pass that, consecutive run, three, six, nine. I think I would break this up. It's a long shot. I think I would pass those. Three, six, nine is kind of a hard category because you only have three numbers. So I would be okay keeping those two for the next pass if we have to. Okay, we've got a four and a six. Two, four, six, eight. Now we don't have a hand yet, but we do have tiles we can pass. Now three, nine, that's a little risky being one suit, but kind of like I was saying down here, three, six, nine is kind of a limited category. So we have pair, pair, pair. There is some potential to play three, six, nine. Really with four, six, eight like that, we could probably let one of these go, but these are all cracks. They're gonna be just as risky to pass. And we could maybe play two, four, six, eight. So no matter how we slice that, it's gonna have risk. Let's pass those. You pass as safely as you can with whatever you have left. So we went across. Now we're going to do first left, east to north, north to west, west to south, south to east. Little numbers, we did get a little number, but look at this pass, seven, eight, nine. That is one of each suit, but that's pretty risky. All these ones are not very helpful. So one, three, one, one, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I don't think any of these are gonna be very helpful. Maybe we could take a nine out and put in a one and make that just a little bit better. We got an east. Okay, news is coming in. I would just let all those go and focus on wins. They're trickling in. We'll see how it goes. L let's pass those three. We're looking for a two bam specifically or evens. Let's pass those three. Oh, this will be something to consider. Six, seven, eight, one suit. Oh, look at what we got. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. There is some potential for the pair hand, but we have no dragons. And we'd have to break up pairs. I think I'd rather keep consecutive as an option and let these go. Now we do have some potential for two, four, six, eight concealed. So let's keep two, four, eight, six, seven, eight. So we need to do a cross. So we're going to have to pass fully. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight. Two, eight, four, six. Let's let the seven go. Two, eight, four, six. And a pair of flowers. All right, so let's go across. Oh, wait. 
That was first left. We're doing second left. I wouldn't stop the Charleston. I would keep going. East to north, north to west, west to south, south to east. We got a multiple, finally. Now, here's two, three, four, five. Consecutive run. Two, three, four, five. I think I would let these, let's see, let's see about that one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This would be the fifth hand down under consecutive run, but here we have flowers. It'd be nice if we could use those. One, two, three, Kong with a pair. Second hand down in one suit or one, two, three, four, five. Or two, three, four, five. And let those go. Let's pass these three. Whoa, we got a south. Ooze, we need north. Threes, north and south with threes, but then we have a risky pass there. I think I would rather pass one of each suit. Or we could do, let's see, three, three, eight, nine. That'll work. Okay, here, we're looking for a two bam. Oh, we're having a hard time getting a two bam. Really, we don't need these sixes. Let's pass those. Oh, we got an eight. There is that even hand where you need a single two pair Pung Kong. We need more flowers. So let's see, four, six, two, eight. Let's let the four go. So we could still maybe play the concealed hand, but here we have a Pung. That would be nice to leverage that. Now we're going to do across east and west and north and south okay now we have some three six nine potential here three that's our pair three six i think we can let the four crack go one, two, three, wait, four. We were thinking of one, two, three, four, five. Or two, three, four, five. Consecutive run. Let's let those go. We're looking for wins. No keepers at all. We want a two bam. We want a two dot. Pairs. We do have all the eights, but I would want to leverage these pairs. We are on the last right. North to east, east to south, south to west, west to north. So... We got a three, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I think I would rather pass one of each suit for optional cross. We got a wind. Wow, all we need in here are norths. Let's pass those three. We want a two bam. And we want a two dot. Everybody can pass for optional cross. East and west, north and south. We got a four. 
Okay, this is going to be pretty nice, maybe. One, two, three, four, five. We can use that there. That's a potential. Or we could do three, four, five. Second hand down on the right. Mixed suits, no gaps. All the multiples would be used. No keepers, four discards. We got an eight bam. May or may not be able to use it unless we played six, seven, eight. Did we have a seven in there at one time? I think we might have. I forgot about consecutive run. I wonder if I passed a seven bam. Whoops, no keepers there, except we did get the seven. Six, seven, eight, joker bait discards. I think six, seven, eight has potential. If we can't get the two, maybe keep those. So we are done with the Charleston. If you wanna be the fifth player, pause the video, look at everybody's hand and decide who you think will win the game. Write your guess in the comments section below with the reason why you think they're likely to win. I'm gonna place my bet using this. I'll use this to mark whose turn it is. We're gonna start by discarding for east. Let's discard the one crack. We're gonna draw. Two dot, east, south. Now we could maybe play a year hand. Let's keep the two and discard the one bam. Two dot. Okay, if we don't get the two bam, we could do two, four, six, eight. Let's let the nine dot go. Oh, two. Okay, now. Two, eight, two, eight, four, six. Let's let the nine bam go. Does that go up there? Five, yeah. Okay. Okay, here we go, this player. White dragon. Okay, one, two, three, white. One, two, three, white. We definitely don't need these. Nine crack. Ooh, Joker, that's a keeper. Maybe that can be the North. Let's let the nine crack go. Red dragon. Hmm, there is a hand that uses opposite dragons, six, seven, eight dragon. Let's let these go. Seven dot. Here we were maybe gonna try six, seven, eight. Second hand down, but that would be the pair. Three crack. No, that's not a keeper.
nine dot, no keeper there. Five crack, no keeper there. Let's throw six dot. Oh, three crack probably would have been a better discard. That was just discarded. Seven crack. Let's let the three crack go. One bam, that's not a keeper. Joker, let's discard seven, bam. Okay, we were thinking maybe three, four, five. So these probably can go. Maybe this dragon and then the one or the two because that's a year tile. Three, four, five. Kong, pair, Kong. Okay, let's let the three crack go. Five dot. That's not gonna be helpful at all. One dot, not at all helpful. Ooh, white dragon. Okay, that's a multiple. One, two, three, dragon. Or stick with three, four, five. I think these can go for sure. The one was just discarded. Let's discard that. Maybe we can use this for joker bait. Let's draw. Joker. Wow. Okay, let's see if we can Kong the North, Pung the East, Pung the West, Kong the South. First hand, we're going to reveal a lot of jokers though, potentially. Let's discard this five. That was already discarded. One bam. Same tile. Red dragon. Okay, that's not helpful. I was thinking about like numbers with fours. Leverage these flower or the white dragons. These would be four dots. Either way, we don't need the two because we could still play three, four, five. We really don't need that four either. Two dot. Okay, three, four, five, I think might be strongest. One, two, three multiples versus one, one, two, three multiples. It's kind of even, but we have a gap. No four dot to go with these white dragons. Four dot. Two dot was just discarded. Now this player up here, they might be able to use that single two, but now there are two two dots out. We might need to let these eights go and play the concealed hand. It's this player's turn. Eight dot, that's not a keeper for them. This player's turn. Now this player could Kong that because they have a gap of no two dot and they need a single there. There are only two left I would not Kong there, I don't think, because we have only one flower and we need four. I think I would rather wait for a joker to help me get that eight, the Kong here. 
so I would let it go. Last tile, second wall, five crack. Green dragon. We have the wrong dragons and we have to make a choice. Four, four like numbers, two multiples. Or three, four, five, three multiples, joker bait. I think that's what, what I would focus on and let the four bam go. This player's turn. This player could potentially pung, but they have a gap for the dragon hand. They need a pair of twos. So I would not take that four. I would let it go. Flower. Now this is a little ray of sunshine. We could play the concealed hand. Wins. We could use these for the north winds. And this could be for east. We've got the west and south. Let's let these go. Four dot. I would switch to the concealed hand. This is one reason to stay concealed. Now we can keep these stealth mode. Up here, we could pung that, but again, there are two two dots out. That's a gap of a single. I would not commit. I would wait and maybe do concealed. White dragon. This is where the idea for the six, seven, eight opposite dragons comes in. Let's let the six crack go. I thought one of those had been discarded, but I guess not. Probably the seven would have been better. Okay, five dot, oh, four, five, six, seven, or two, four, six, eight. Let's let this three bam go. Three bam. Okay, we need a north or a flower. Three dot. Oh, that is a pung here. Let's go ahead and pung. Pear Kong. Okay, so we have a Kong. Did I say Pung? That's a Kong. So let's let the white dragon go. Nobody, nobody wants it. Six dot. Up here, I wouldn't do anything there. The two dot is a problem. Seven dot. Boy, a seven bam would be kind of helpful there. So here we have sevens. These are out. Oh, five dot. Well, there's a surprise. Two, four, six, eight. Let's let these, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. If we could get white dragons, we could maybe play the pair hand. One, two, three, four, five, sequence of five. But a white dragon is already out and we don't even have one there. So uh, I think I would, I think I would let the two, four, six, eight hand go. Let's see, four, five, six, Kong, pair Kong, or two, four, six, eight. Let's let these eight dots go. That's kind of painful. 
9 crack. That has been discarded. Red dragon. Let's let this 5 crack go. We really don't need that red dragon either. 8 crack. Let's discard 7 crack. Four crack. We really want two, eight, four, six. This can go. We maybe could have done two, four crack, six, eight, but we have all these pairs in here. One crack. That's a discard. Six crack. That was discarded. Six crack was discarded. Red dragon. Nobody wants it. Nine crack. Okay, we need a wind or a flower. Six ban. The red dragon was discarded. That's a good discard there. All right, we really want a two bam or a seven bam. We got a north. No wins are out. We're in the middle of the middle game. I would let it go now, north. This, this player's turn. This player could Kong. Pung, Pung, Kong. That would set them. But the risk is revealing three jokers. We'll be one away and set. Let's risk it and see what happens. We're going to risk it. So let's discard the risky tile. Flower. Nobody can take it. This player might take it with a joker. But there are eight flowers. I'd rather save it for my five. Joker. Two, four, six, eight, dragon. Let's let the two dot go. This player, I would not play that two, four, six, eight hand. That's the third two dot out. And there's a two. Hey, now, look, they got it. After we let that eight go, single pair, Pung Kong. No jokers, one flower. I think that I would stick with consecutive here, or two, four, six, eight. I would let the two go. Four bam. Four bam. It's this player's turn. Here, we really need that two. I think I would just rather wait because we don't have the two, and that's, that's going to be tough. If we Kong that, we have a big gap for that one suit hand, third one down. We could Kong here and have a pair, but we have no two. We're at the middle of the middle game. The other thing we could do is Pung and hope for twos and use a Kong of Dragons for the second hand from the bottom, but that would be risky too. So what to do? The other idea was to use these as the sevens and do six, seven, eight Dragon. This would be the Kong. I think I'd rather do that and let, let that go. Flower. Now that might be helpful. Kong, single, pair, pung, Kong. Let's let the eight crack go. This would be concealed if we did two, four, six, eight. One dot. Nine bam. Whoops. Nine dot. <laughs> no Norse have come up. Oh, flower. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Let's let the white dragon go. We need to let these go. Seven crack. 
I probably would not focus on a pear hand up there. It looked promising for a bit. <gasps> Five bam! Well, that's nice. Let's let the white dragon go. East. Oh, that would be a keeper. Six bam. Ready to win on a east or south. Kong, pung, pung, kong. Now this player, they have a pung. I think I would focus on this first hand under two, four, six, eight. They don't need that six. They already have a pung. Five crack. Let's let the dragons go. Red. This player up here, poor, poor player. Five through nine. Two, eight, four, six concealed. Let's let the nine go. Those are all out. North exchange, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Red dragon. They're set. They could Kong, Kong. There's their pair. South, self pick Mahjong. South one, right here. Let's see. Yeah, I forgot this north. Kong, Pung, Pung, Kong. First hand under Winds and Dragons. That's a pretty hand. Who did you pick to win? Did you guess right? I picked East. I picked East because they had multiples and a joker. And they were one away, one away from a ready. So I think that was a good guess. If you picked South, you would get paid just like the winner. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.